Funny Boy tells the story of R.G., a young Tamil boy growing up in 1970s Sri Lanka who's different. What's wrong with you? As he negotiates his gay identity, his family is caught in the growing tensions between the minority Tamil and majority Sinhalese community. We don't want you here anymore. Eventually culminating in what is known as Black July, when anti-Tamil riots killed thousands, setting off a civil war. Oscar-nominated director Deepa Mehta knew the most critical component was finding her RG. We get an RG who was, who was gay. That, for me, is the most important representation in this film. And she found him in a theater student from Sri Lanka. He had just come out, and that was so brave. But now some members of the global Tamil community are speaking out about what they say is missing. Sundarvai Kuranadan is a queer Canadian Tamil who was disappointed when he watched the trailer. He could plainly hear the dialogue spoken wasn't by Tamil actors. This is another step in erasing Tamil identity from the mainstream. This film could have been our moonlight. We showed him what Meta said about trying to find more Tamil actors. I'm not a sucker for punishment. If I could find Tamil actors, why would I go through this hassle of, of trying to find non-Tamil actors who, who had to be dubbed and redubbed and it's, it's painful. By Gudanathan says that's not good enough. If she had tried then, we would have heard about the film. We would have heard about the recruitment. I want to be the bride. Shyam Salvadore is the author of Funny Boy. He co-wrote the screenplay and helped Deepa Mehta look for actors. Celebrate the fact that here you have an out gay Sri Lankan actor playing the role. I mean, you know, that's kind of something absolutely fabulous. In the meantime, Deepa Mehta is redubbing the dialogue and took time to meet with the Canadian Tamil Congress who issued a statement appreciating her efforts to improve the audio and give voice to the lived experience of our community. Audiences can judge the finished product when the film opens November 27th. Eli Glaster, CBC News, Toronto. What does that mean?